I've been with the RTC going on five months, and the thing I enjoy most about my job is my department. Every day is an adventure. I love working with my team. It's great to uh, learn from. They're always willing to help, and I do love working with other departments as well. Being able to get an idea of what the uh, agency does as a whole is amazing. So, what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to me? I think a lot of it has to do with bringing back memories of what you did in your childhood, things that you would somewhat take for granted that you knew were special at the moment, but didn't realize how special until you got older. You know, and then being able to th look back on it and know that as long as you keep incorporating these, these little mini traditions along the way, you don't lose sight of you know, what it was growing up, and being able to highlight it and have a month dedicated to it. A family tradition I'd like to pass down, um, First one that comes to mind, be it that I'm a girl dad, is probably tamales for Christmas Eve. You know, and then you, you look back as a kid and you remember there was the assembly line process. Everybody had a job and everybody stuck to that job and some people were better at it than others. But I think the idea of being able to pass that down to my daughter is going to be pretty, it's going to be fun. And we've done little bits here and there, um, but they're still a little young. But as they get older, I, I wish to incorporate more of that and, and to them knowing, you know, what it was growing up doing it every Christmas personal motto that I live by and why it's my motto, I would have to say, and I've heard it before, you know, as you get a little older, it kind of means more to you, but I'd like to leave everything a little bit better than I found it. And the reason I like it is because it applies in so many ways in life, you know, with situations, with people, with work, and even with places you visit. So that's one of the reasons why I always think to look back on it and, and kind of follow my cue and make sure you stick to it. I would say my mother has had the greatest impact in my life. And the reason being is because she's one of the smartest people that I know, if not the smartest. And, you know, it's kind of, in some senses, hard to believe. She stopped going to school in the third grade to take on the responsibility to help raise her brothers and sisters. She comes from a really large family. But, you know, with that being said, any of the big life decisions that I've made up until this point, um, you know, with a house and family and kids, you know, I still go to her for everything. Fun fact about myself is, I actually credit Sesame Street for teaching me English. I was in a lot of ESL classes growing up, and a lot of it really is funny because, uh, you know, you're up looking for help with certain assignments, and it's not like you can, you know, necessarily get it the way that you need it from somebody who doesn't speak English. My mom doesn't speak English to this day. At this point, she just never really had to. So, um, but Sesame Street actually got me where I needed to be as far as elementary goes.